Hey, if you need some Madden coins, be sure to check out GoBuyMMO.com. They are literally half off of the rest of the Madden competitors, so be sure to check them out. Link down in the description below. Use my code TEXAS for a 6% discount. What's well, good, everybody? It is your boy Texas, and it is the last and final week of Team of the Week. It has been, what, 17? Yo, this season flew by. And now we got, what, playoff content coming up next, then Team of the Year, and then Honors, Super Bowl, and then we get into the craziness of Madden. But, yo, today they dropped some pretty cool stuff in the store. Let's go check it out. They brought out a new pack to commemorate the last final week. Gives four 80-plus overall Elite Team of the Week players from this week's, including one guaranteed 16-17 player. Nice, nice. And the thing about this is, this is a really bad pack, because right now, I don't know if you guys know what's going on with the market, but I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, a lot of the 80 overalls are like 4K or less than that. And the reason why they're going for so cheap is because they have this snow offer where you can exchange 75 snow for an 80 plus overall random week 17 or 16 elite. I've done this so many times. I, 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 <laughs> I would probably say stay away from this set, but if you're like a pack addict like myself, you can get lucky and pull a 90 plus. You can pull a limited time out of this pack. You can pull a, a boss or a hero. Like it's it's a risk. Um, I'm probably gonna keep pulling this throughout the day. Uh, but yeah, I think this is the reason why you should probably stay away from this bump. Like I said, there are limited time cards and packs. But guaranteed 480 overalls ain't really a lot considering that four at basically 4K is 12,000 coins and this pack costs 70K. So you gotta bank on pulling a big time pull. And I don't know if that's gonna be likely. I mean, the odds seem like it might be, but we're gonna pull those packs a little bit later on, but they got this pretty cool snow offer as well. You go to exchange your snow to get a 93 overall team of the week hero from either week 16 or week 17. And you can buy this pack twice to redeem for a 95 boss team of the week, which is pretty cool. So I think the boss for week 16 is Zach Ertz and week 17 is Demarcus Lawrence. So Cowboy fans, Eagle fans, you got a bunch of players to go and upgrade to, especially with the playoffs coming up. Team being in the playoffs, this should be a really good week for theme teams. So it's not a bad price considering that a 95 overall, what goes to Madden's president's 5,500 snow. You can go ahead and just save 500 snow, get a 95 overall, either quick sell it for training or sell it for like 400,000 coins if they're still going for that much. So this is a really cool offer. Um, yeah, I think right now if you were to quick sell 91 overalls for 100,000 coins, buy two of them, that'll get you a 93. Get two more, do the second 95. So about yeah, 400,000 coins for a 95, which is going to be quick selling for what, 13,000 training if I'm not mistaken. So a really good deal for those trying to get training right now. They are going to convert your snow players to training after the seventh, I believe. And at first I thought they were going to screw us over. I thought they were going to make the ratio like one to two where it's like, for every 10 snow, you get like five training back. Some will all highs like that, but actually it's 2.5 to one, which is in line with the current situation for training right now. So an example of that would be a 91 snow car sells for 1280 or quick sells for 1280 snow. You times that by 2.5, which is gonna get you 3200 training, which is in line with what a 91 overall quick sells for in the first place. So. Good job, man, so that's gonna be pretty cool. But today you can go ahead and convert your snow into training right away or just be patient and wait until this week. Yeah, don't pull this pack, man, please. Like, I know somebody like, yo, Tex, I pulled a 93 out of this pack. I mean, if you might pull some good stuff out of this pack because it's, it's loaded. But man, I, I, that's a really good pull. All right, cool, we'll take that. But it's gonna be few and far between, I bet. As, you know what, I'm talking trash about this pack. I just pulled two. Top two, two, two decent cards, I guess. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. All right, wait. Okay, so we pulled a lot more. When did, when did, when did this Whitehead come out? When did Whitehead come out? Did it come out this week? That's week 14. So that's not even from this week, so. All right, so we got 86, but only one of these cards from this week is actually going for more than probably 10K, because these are going for like nothing right now. Later on today as well, I'm going to be streaming, because again, four of my times in packs, I want to pull one of them. I want to end this on a bang. We get a Jordan Hicks, bro. I'm pulling. If I get higher overalls from previous weeks than I do from this week, bro, I, I'm not going to complain, 
but I might, I'm gonna feel some type of way. All right, another little border right there, 83 J.R. Brown right here, 81 Sheldon Rankins. I'll take those Rising Stars. I don't know if anybody's still doing those sets. I've been trying to sell those cards. They haven't really been selling off as we get another little small background. Darren Sproles, how fast is he? Darren Sproles right here with an 88 speed, 95 agility. He needs a flashback card. A throwback card. I need something, bro. Like, I know Darren Sproles is much older, and like I, he's not as fast as he once was, but we need a Darren Sproles in his prime, like a Chargers. Like, he needs a power up as well. We play for three teams, Eagles, Saints, and Chargers. Definitely need a power up right there. All right, come on. Let's see if we can get a bigger flash than the 86. 88 Harrison Smith. Okay, that's going to be used for probably a token set in the future. All right, here's 76 Keyshawn Johnson, 81 TJ Jones, and nothing else there. I just want to get one limited time, bro. These things ain't going to be in packs no more after this week. I just want to see if I can clutch out a limited time team of the week. Big flash. Lorenzo Alexander, this from, this from this past week. Okay, cool. We got At least we got a week 16 one. I'm like, if I keep getting big flashes from old team of the weeks, bro, I'm, uh, that's not how I'm supposed to go. Here's the week 17 boss, Demarcus Lawrence, out here with 81 speed, 91 block shed, 95 power move, 88 finesse move. And when I was looking at this guy compared to like a Von Miller, like defensive ends are so much worse than outside linebackers at the defensive end spot. Uh, the only thing about this card that I like is its price because Von Miller is much better, but it, since he's a 95 limited time, he's gonna be going for like 800,000 coins more than likely. And with him going for that amount of coins, trading wise, it's gonna cost what 20, what 5,000 training to buy past that car to get to an 88 speed defensive end. It's probably not worth it. The Marcus Lawrence for its price is not too bad. Now, the Zach Ertz came out as well as we, yeah, we got a lot of the same players. Then we got the Justin Houston limited time with the Von Miller limited time, the Marcus Lawrence. Then on offense, we got the Hunter Henry and the Zach Ertz. And I would dare to say Hunter Henry is much better than the Zach Ertz. But Eagle fans, bro, you got yourself a 96 overall power tight end for y'all theme team. 85 speed, 96 catching, no run block at all, but a great, a great wide receiver at the tight end spot, basically. Here he is compared to my Jeremy Shockey. It's kind of weird though, right? I know Shockey's a higher overall, but like, I just don't know why the Zach Ertz is just so bad at doing, like, like every tight end's kind of like even, right? Like, like when it comes to like run block, when it comes to like speed, and then some guys have better catching than others. Like he has better catching by five than this Jeremy Shockey, better route running by two. But I'm just like, what is going on here? Like, what does Zach Ertz have on his card? that makes him just like this high overall, but at the same damn time, he's not like special, special. So I don't know, I could be missing something about this Zach Ertz, but again, six foot five tight end, high point pass cheese is impossible to stop consistently in this year's Madden. So that's gonna be a nice guy to have out there going there snagging those balls. Now the limited times, we got Justin Houston and we got the Michael Thomas going for a lot more. We did not come close to pulling any of these cards, unfortunately. We got 92 speed, Michael Thomas. Who, okay, that's actually not too bad. The thing is, like, I feel like everybody has Randy Moss right now. Now, I don't got the 98, but like, I feel like everybody got Randy Moss right now. So I'm just like, which, do you really want to pay this much for Michael Thomas? Randy Moss exists? What's his run block? What is Michael Thomas's run block? 63, that's actually really solid. So, man, I just, Saints fans, theme team, that's all I got for you. And then Justin Houston out here looking really good. This is like the first year I think Justin Houston has been usable in Madden. For some reason, they give him like really good block shed, power move, finesse move, which is understandable. He's a he's a game wrecking outside linebacker. Like he can change up a game. That's why I'm really excited about the Chiefs in the playoffs this year. Looking forward to watching Justin Houston, Eric Berry, and Chris Jones go out there and go to work. But they usually give him no speed. Like. 75 to like 79 speed, which isn't great. We now we got a, a really fast outside linebacker. Like he's not better than Vaughn. Don't get me wrong. Vaughn's still the ultimate guy to pick up at this left outside linebacker spot. But Chiefs fans, man, you got a fast linebacker now that can actually rush after the quarterback and contain guys not like Vic, but like Cam, like Russell Wilson, guys in that speed tier, which is what he could not do before. So Shout out to EA for actually getting this one correct because they have not in the past. Real quick, here's Calvin Ridley stats, 93 speed, 93 catching. Really solid right there. We got the Jimmy Smith, cornerback for the Ravens. 91 speed with the 92 man and 92 zone. Six foot two cornerback, really nice. I still think Durbin James is a better cornerback than Jimmy Smith is for the guys trying to find a nice, tall, fast cornerback, but 
that is not bad at all as well. We got this Josh Allen who got himself a 93 overall quarterback card. 86 speed, 97 throw power. What the? F Yo, 86 speed, 97 throw power. And since the throwing stats don't really seem to matter, bruh, this dude Josh Allen's better than Cam Newton. That's crazy. All right, cool. And then here is the Jalen Smith. Please, please be fast, bruh, because... I'm not going front. I was really mad that they made Lane Vander Esch much faster than they made Jalen Smith, who's one of the fastest linebackers in the league. But 89 speed is respectable. 88 zone coverage is amazing as well. 93 hit power. So, yeah, like, none of these cards are, like, really, really, like, super duper amazing. But when they get in the theme teams, yeah, these cards are going to break some games. Like, so I know CC's going to be out here with this Calvin Ridley, with Sprinter, with John Madden and Falcons. Uh, chemistry, right? So that's gonna be so plus three speed plus the sprinter plus the mad. That's gonna be a plus what five speed increase, maybe plus six. So this guy could probably get nine nine speed in CC's lineup. So I love that Jalen Smith is gonna be fast. Jimmy Smith is gonna be a lockdown man coverage and zone coverage cornerback. And then this Josh Allen is just Josh Allen because if you guys are running a Bills theme team, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You have one power for that theme team, and that's not good at all. But yo. We're going to go ahead and rip a million coins worth in hopes to pull Von Miller, Justin Houston, Hunter Henry, or that limited time Michael Thomas. And I'll be you guys in the next video. Look, this ain't money came by your happiness, but I swear to God, it's a good down play. Trying to stuff so many binges in my pocket, you would swear that I was out here trying to drown Franklin. I was bred in slums, got fed up with corns, now you don't play a pound cake. Told me when it was a root of all equal, but I swear to God, I ain't never found something.